he was a soldier who helped Israel win its independence from the British as a member of Haganah, the Jewish militia. He was a swashbuckling warrior who lost an eye in Syria in 1941 while leading commandos against the French. When Arabs attacked the newly declared state of Israel in 1948, Moshe Dayan was commander of the front in Jerusalem. Then he drew world attention, leading Israel's tough American-supplied troops to victory in two successive wars against the Arabs. In 1956, when the Israelis moved to take control of Suez, and in 1967, when in six days the Israelis humiliated the armies of Syria, Jordan, and Egypt. Diane was Minister of Defense then, a soldier turned civilian leader. He was still in charge of Israeli defenses in 1973, when the Egyptians surprised the world and Israel in the Yom Kippur attack. Diane was partly disgraced by that, and the next year he resigned, along with Golda Meir, the Prime Minister. In 1977, Diane joined Prime Minister Begin's cabinet as Foreign Affairs Minister, playing a role in welcoming Anwar Sadat to Jerusalem, and later developing a reputation as a moderate on the Palestinian issue. In 1979, as Israel expanded its settlements on the West Bank, Diane resigned, keeping his seat in Parliament as an independent, and then, just this year, founding a national unity party. But it had little influence. Even so, Diane kept a hand in international affairs. In the wake of Anwar Sadat's murder, he looked ahead to whether Israel should withdraw next spring from territory he helped capture in 1967. It was up to President Mubarak, he said. The question is uh, whether the uh, new president, and in a couple of months' time, will be strong enough to carry out the normalization, to keep his ambassador here, in spite of opposition in his own country. If not, then Israel will have to think, to give another thought about the withdrawal. Now Israel will have to decide without Diane's advice. Recently, in one of his last interviews, Diane told ABC News correspondent Barbara Walters how he viewed the future. Are you finished with government? I think, yes, I think that all governments are finished with me.